video, you join us in Deutschland, in Germany, uh, we're on Bremen Oldenburg, we haven't done it in a really long time, uh, and I thought we'd showcase for another fantastic Creators Club River, which is the MRCE on the Vectron, which looks really, really nice. Um, I was actually going to do a Deutsche Bahn one, but they all seem, I don't think Deutsche Bahn have their logo in the Creators Club, so it's always a bit, well, in the livery designers, so it's always a bit in the um, but yeah, here we are, looking fresh, um, don't know if I prefer it to the route pool one, but anyway, let's get driving, there's one of the, literally every German city has to have it, a TV tower, that's cool though. Uh, let's sort of transporting cars today, uh, let's get this uh, set up, uh, oh it's quite easy this one setting up, um, that one, even though it seems like a spaceship, it, it, it's fairly straightforward. Headlights. Um, let's see what we got. Set of signal lights. Actually, that should be all right. Let's have a look. No, go outside. No, that's not all right. I they are supposed to be on. Let's do that. Um, that will do. Uh, we've got 37 kilometres, which won't take that long. Um, we are in the correct PZB mode. RSB. RSB. Uh, no, let's do that, so that to we'll go 40. Signal is now green ahead of us, and the speed limit is 40, so that's good. More cars. Um, and we shall get going. Yeah, this is another um, TOD4 route. Um, let's quickly just someone change that screen over, actually. Uh, we've got to confirm the speed as well. Yeah, this is another TOD4 route. Uh, so this one basically should work with all the new bits and bobs, which is good. Come on, train. Let's move. It's got a warm. It's got. It's got to think about it first. It's like, mm, do I want to go? Do I not want to go? There we go. Slowly turning those wheels. They're quite good at not wheel slipping these German locos. Apart from the DBBR 101. You don't really, sort of rarely get wheel slip um, on these ones. Oh, yeah, we're off. Cool. Don't think we need to acknowledge that. I think we're all good. We'll find out in a second. So head to Oldenburg. Yes, yeah, it's, it's quite a short journey. It's, I mean, it is quite a short German route. Really. Thirty-seven kilometers is one end to the other. Not the longest of routes, um, but it's it's a nice, it's a really nice route. And it's just it's just a nice little journey as well. Sort of Bremen, the big city, to Oldenburg, which uh, is a little town. I think. Will be Swing Bridge. I think this came out in December. In December. December. I think it was December. Sort of, yeah, that sort of time of 2022. So it's still a relatively new route, as opposed to some of the others. And this route also brought what's that train? What's the what's the old oh, train on here? Oh, is it? I always forget. The DBBR one five. What? No. Oh, we will see it at some point. It's one of one of the old German trains. I always forget this one though. But we'll probably see it. The 156, is it? Yeah. No, there we go. The DBBR 110, the 110. Uh, which is a uh, tap changer. Which makes it quite an experience to drive. And also, we also had our first look of the uh, first look of the M wagon on this route as well, uh, which is very popular amongst the Germans. They yeah, love driving the slowest. They're so chilled out because the Cifa doesn't scratch. It's not like Cifa. Cifa. Cifa doesn't have like a really annoying buzz sound. It's, ba it's basically just an AWS sound, an AWS four sound. It's, it's nice. Over there. Uh, 
have I not seen this before? What is it? Some sort of art exhibition or something. I thought I had the brakes coming on then, I was like, oh. And there's the 155. That's nice to be back on here. That's what must be. Head out of uh, Bremen over the, over the river. Boats move as well, which was another sort of cool thing about this route. Uh, and even they're in livery designer as well, which is cool. And then you've got the press, I think, yeah, the press 155, the blue one. It's just, it's just a pleasant, a small, pleasant route. I don't really have anything I dislike about this route. Um, I, I, I can't. There literally is nothing I can think about which I dislike about this route. I mean, it is fairly short, but then I, I, I don't know. It almost suits it being. I don't know. It, it, it's just a pleasant route. Doesn't really get boring to drive either. There's a nice amount of traffic on here as well, and layers. short while it goes up to 160 along here. Well, we can't get up to 160, we only can get up to 120. That's not too far around. And 120 begin. Almost sounds like the sea for sort of changes tone. We took a little while to press it then and it sort of made like a, a different tone. Maybe it does. And the horn's nice on here as well, talking about tones. It's nice. It's got a fresh sound set, which is unusual, <laughs> but nice to see. Oh my god, what are we pressing there? I want to press the. Uh, we're pressing things we probably shouldn't be pressing. I just want to press the uh, contrast. There we go, I don't want to be in all. Uh, light. Right, we're off. Can't really remember the stations on here either. Line all the way to like Dermagorsk or something, Dermagorsk. Um, and then we then make our way up Hoffen Camp. That's one Hoffen Camp. That's a station on here. Yeah, Hoffen Camp. That's another one. Oh, there's like a. Well, it has book in it. I don't know the name of that book, something. And then Huda. Winter, some like winter, winter, and then it's then Oldenburg. Oh my God, we don't want to go above that. We almost got above 120, which is really not not good. That's not what we're gonna do. Why is it not setting it to 120? 
we'll just have it at 115 then. It does go up in five kilometre increments. But if not, I'll keep as it is. Also, one of the more surprising layers for this route is you can get the. Uh, I can't remember this far. This should be probably looking at it not long ago, I forgot, um, is it the 103, yeah, no, it is the 103, the DBB or 103, and you get that one here as well, which is more surprising, because I think this route's set in two for, actually, hang on, no, no, I was going to say this train probably shouldn't be on this route, so I think, yeah, this is set in 2012, well, I think it's slightly more backdated, no, 2009, yeah, this is, this is 2009, this one's set in, and I'm afraid that the Vectron was built from 2012 onwards. So should this train be on this route? It's a bit of a time paradox. I'm going to have to I'm afraid that the Vectron will be able to build. Slows down since I was keeping an eye on the on the speeds. Yeah, 2010 got introduced, so we're not far off. If this is 2009. I mean, look at southeastern high speed. That was supposed to I think be set in 2019 or something like that, and then magically changed once the 375, um, the white 375, came in back to 2018. So. Maybe it's the same for this room. But it's still nice that we can use it on here. I say it's just nice to get a bit more use out of the Vectron. Um, and sort of Vectron on tour, I suppose. It's got all that sun flaring on the signal. So for a second, I thought it said 100 through there. That's just the sun playing games on the uh, signal. Is this Demogorce? Demogorce? Is, what are you called? What is this station? If I had a nameplate, that would help. Where's the nameplate for it? Uh, Delmanos? Well, Del Demogorce. Delmanos. Similar. <laughs> we weren't far off. Now, there's 120. So, hopefully gone down before. If it had, uh, well, we can see. That's probably one sixty before, wasn't it? Yeah, you got like Hoff and Camry, that's the next one along. And then there's another one, and then there's that book station, and then Hudo Hill. Would have been cool to see the branch line off from Hudo Hill. Hood, how you say it. It's like a little branch line that goes up. So it's a bit like the Isodon branch from Russell Nord. Uh, where you'd sort of think that would have been in, but then it never happened. What does everyone think of the new German route coming out? The main Talbot. That looks cool. With the uh, DBBR 642. Um, yeah, that would be cool to see a main Talbot. Anyone seen it? But you we have seen it if you're watching to, up to this point. Uh, yeah, what's something got the main tail barn? Is that going to be dovetail games? Is a ninja tail barn? Single track diesel from a Schaffenberg to somewhere.
quite can come. Bickholtsburg, I think that's a Bickholtsburg. That's the other station along here. The other one's not too far around. I think that's got a slightly funnier name. Sort of more, you know, harder name to to say. I'll find out in a second. But it's a, I mean, it's, it's, it's just a nice little journey on the Bremen Oldenburg. Nice sort of mix, I suppose, of scenery. Sort of quite urban Bremen to Delman. Delman Horse. Delman Horse. Quite sort of built up there now, sort of out in the country. Oh, there's the M wagon with the uh, 110, which just looks awesome. stuff on here, so you've got all of the volumetric clouds which still look amazing. I mean every time I look at the TSW clouds on the TOD4 it's like wow. I mean this is probably some of the best clouds I've seen in well in the simulator at least. That's really nice. And because of the long like you can actually see you're sort of actually, you know, we're, we're, going, we're going under the kind of the shadows as well, uh, which really does make um, a difference. I forgot about that. Yeah, I forgot about that. The clouds can make the shadows on the uh, on the track as well. Goes off here, then it's sort of the last. 
it's a rainy, isn't it? That'd be, uh, in fact, should we go in photo mode now and try and get a, a screenshot before it starts raining? It just looks like it's going to start raining. In fact, it is starting to rain. Let's go in photo mode now. I'm still trying to get one on the bridge, but... I'm trying to get something before it absolutely hammers it down. So still then we've got a little bit of sun. This is what I want. They probably do like fancy rotations. It's like, what? Well, actually, that looks quite cool. <laughs> I quite like that. Let's have one of those fancy rotations. I really played around with the rotor. Even that looks cool. Actually, not too much. Get the panto in. It's like the, the Vectron. What about that way? Oh, actually, not, not as cool. <laughs> Plus, I've actually put, played with the rotor. I'll get a normal one as well. There we go. Yeah, it's a bit of a, a Bremen paradox. No. Yeah, Bremen time paradox. Cause, yeah, this, I'm pretty certain sure this route is 2009. And we're running the Vectron. Five is included with this route, which is, is, is a really nice train. Nice unit to drive. So I haven't driven, so I haven't driven a lot of them. I mean, recently, I haven't really driven any German trains apart from these ones uh, and the Austrian Talon one. I haven't really had time really for any of the sort of. Well, it's sort of it's the older German routes. As well. I mean, whenever we sort of do TSW now, it's you know, stream wise, it's just UK stuff. Never at work, it's like you know, I want to get back and I don't really want to. Well, we, we don't know daily now, so we don't need to play the other stuff. Yeah, the Bremen time paradox. I might actually call that though on the video. What do you mean, Bremen time paradox? The Vectron, the Vectron paradox. Vectron, I like the Vectron Paradox. We stick time in there. What's, what's the definition of paradox? Do we need to have time in the title? It's a cool word, isn't it? Paradox. Paradox But then 2009, when this train got revealed in 2010, makes it sort of an impossible situation. Yeah, we've got the Vectron Paradox, the Bremen Paradox. <coughs> Something cool like that, it's a cool word. Yeah, kind of like the Vinter. It's about 30 minutes for this one. But yeah, it probably should be about 30 minutes by the time we get there. Was that 114? I mean, 
bothered putting out to one. I don't really need to go up to 120. Just keep it as it is um, at the moment. Not got that far either. Are we holding up any yet? Yeah, actually, could probably maybe it should have gone in the uh, other PZB mode. So it was quite a long train. Just looking at the map there, we really do stretch back of that. We're back to uh, to there. This is a bit sorry. Let's have a look. Well, it has a W in it as well. Another stick there. Another stick. That is a 101 there. That's the train full of slips. Probably one of the only German trains, sort of more modernish locomotives that show you actually get wheel slip on really bad. really nice logo to drive. Probably actually my favourite German logo to drive. Maybe it still is. I really like this train, the Vectron. Just for the fact that it doesn't scream C for it, it just has basically it's an AWS sort of like alarm for it. It's it's got a fresh sound set, it's just it's just nice, it's pleasant. It's a pleasant cab as well. Uh, modern, it's uh, it's just a, it's just nice. Well, the one I want is still a really nice train. Yeah. See, the thing is, these films look better than on the trains for four base routes, but on the East Coast Main Line. Oh, okay, I'll this one, but maybe... Uh, see, look, they, they, these fields look better than the ones on the... Um, look at that one, sort of flat there, but more of them actually have stuff in them. More, you know, foliage of It feels much more uh, vegetated as well. It's mm, a bit weird. It almost was like a sort of rubber band in a bit. So, well, not rubber, but not going to go back, but we're sort of accelerating, coming up and then go back and then go back and go back. Sort of. Right, it does start slowing down soon. That's like 60 in the uh, swing bridge. Not swing bridge, the lift bridge. Which is really cool. Actually, it should actually be going up, I think, soon. Isn't it 22 or 20 pounds? If it's 22, oh, I just missed it. The whole bridge, the whole structure just goes up. It's really impressive to see. Um, especially considering this is train sim well. Really, really cool. Now that's not a nice signal. I don't know if we're even going to make that. Hopefully that signal isn't red, because otherwise we're probably not even going to make for the PZB in time. We might just... So we made the PZB in time. Get those brakes off quite sharp, because otherwise we're going to come to a stop. was a uh, double yellow which could mean the next one could be red. They got much more down to a much more manageable speed. Well no, it was a distant <coughs> double yellow. We still don't be mucking around with it. That's a distance double yellow. Just in case we can get it. I 
I'm feeling the bridge is actually up. I can't remember if it's 22 or 20 past. But the bridge goes up. I'm tempted to sort of fly ahead and have a look. Oh, maybe not. I can know it is down. Oh, no, it... No, it's up. There you go. I don't know why the signal was... Uh, is saying we can go across. That's a bit worrying. Look at that, though. Right, let's get back to the train before we do... That is a bit worrying, though, the fact that that's saying it's basically good to go and the bridge is still coming down. That is, yeah, that is a bit concerning. Although you sort of hope that the driver would see the bridge. Oh, it was night time. Why on earth is it allowing us to get this close? That is quite... I mean, the bridge was still going down. You're going at a slow enough speed to probably see, but yeah, it's not you can turn him. There's even the little sort of shunt signal there. That was that was still displaying as basically go, and the bridge was still. Uh... Well, hopefully we don't derail. Hopefully it's now completely down. But an awesome place to come and watch trains here. Just basically watch the wires to see what they do as the wires sort of disconnect and then they have to connect again. It's really uh, quite a spectacle. Now we're going to try and get a screenshot, aren't we? Of it on the bridge. Hmm. Well, let me go a little bit further along. I don't want to crash the game. That's what's been happening in photo mode. When you just press the two sticks, it can sometimes crash it. Ooh, there, there we go. That's... That could be the money shot. Get the rotation on there, get the bridge in. Maybe. Hmm. We'll see what we can make out of that. Well, here we are. I'll probably get that AFB right down now. We don't need it 110 or whatever it was on. Come on, hang on. Don't speed up. What are you doing? I'm going to be doing it this time. Uh, so for the red lights, this is Oldenburg off the banner. Uh, just a nice station. Everything is just nice about this route. Like, yeah, the only negative about this route, um, which I don't really mind as I don't know this route um, in real life, is it is quite short. But I don't know this route in real life. I, I mean, for East Coast way, that's that's true. That should be extended, but six one two in now. First in Kamnitz, one five. Uh, is that one? Yeah, one five five. Our MRC liveried. I'll try and, well, if I can, I remember, I'll try and put a link in the description if you do want to give this livery a go. I believe it wears it in real life. Um, I hope it wears it. No, it does have it in real life. Um, yeah, there's lots of different um, Vectron liveries you can get on the Creators Club. Recommend getting some installed. Not just Rail Pool who and the Vectron. Should be coming up to the red. Slow, slowly but steadily I'm getting up to it. There's another six one two in there. Six one two has some good services on this route. Sort of faster ones. I think it only stops that I think here, Huda, Delman. Delma Horst and then straight to Remnant. Maybe not even that. Yeah, alright, yeah. I did, but I think he was an AWS sound for that. 
That sounds literally like AWS being cleared as well. Peculiar. Train stop. Before the red light, not after the red light. There we go. A little bit close, but then usually the game does want you to go right up to it. We're speeding, 920, we've got a bronze, we were speeding. Uh, hang on, that's how we go about one, what's that, that the bar, we weren't speeding. The speed limit was one, no we definitely weren't speeding, that, that's got to be wrong. Because the speed limit outside of Bremen, just outside of Bremen, is 160. Now I'm assuming that's going off PZB speeds, but we were going at 114. So no way. I mean, that's on the on the graph. That's more like one, one two five one thirty, which we weren't doing. Um, so I don't know why it's showing us that. Yeah, we were going 114 basically the whole time. So it was basically it was trying to say we were going more cheeky. Um, but that's going to be it for me. Hopefully, ooh, that's nice. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed it. Links can be found in the usual places Discord, PayPal, merch store. Apart from that, thanks for coming in, and I hope to see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys. Hey.